Hi, my name is Tom. I'm a student of Master of Mathematics at the Rabat University. And today I'll be taking you through the page for new students here at the Rabat University. Uh, I'll be taking you through a couple of things, including Osiris, Brightspace, personal schedule, and the student email. So let's dive into it. So what you're looking at here is the, the page that I just mentioned. Um, on this page, there is a lot that you can find. Um, so if we scroll down a little bit, um, there's all things about the introduction, for example, the master welcome day, um, some things which are a bit more important, a uh, range as soon as possible, like registering for courses, which we'll be looking at in a second. Um, there's a few digital environments that you, that you need to know about, uh, and we won't be explaining all of them in this video, but a lot of it can be found on this page. Um, so the first thing to show is Osiris, which is where you register for your courses. So I'll be clicking on this link here, register for courses. And then I go to Osiris. And then you can log in here with your S number, which is an account that you get when you start studying here. So this is what Osiris looks like. Um, it's currently in Dutch, but I'll switch it to English. So on the right, you see, for example, I'm enrolled for the master uh, here, and there are a few messages here, which, uh, which, uh, in which give my, uh, my grades. Uh, and if we look at the menu on the left, you can see we have grades, progress, uh, the course catalog, which we'll be looking at in a second, which is uh, it's a very important part of Osiris. Um, also, for example, your supervisor can uh, add like uh, little messages on, on here as well. Um, uh, but the most important part of Osiris is enrolling in courses and in exams. So if we click on enroll, uh, we have a couple of options. First of all, course, which is where you can look up specific courses. Test, which is looking up specific tests. Usually, if you enroll for a course, you'll be enrolled for at least the first possibility of a test of that course automatically. The second uh, chance, usually not, so make sure you do that on time. Um, you can look at Myers here as well and specializations. Uh, specializations only come with uh, specific uh, uh, studies, but not with all of them. Um, so I think now is a good uh, time to look at the course catalog, which uh, has a couple of pages. So you can look up specific courses, you can look up specific minors, uh, but the most important one is uh, degree programs. So for me, for example, I'm doing a Master of Mathematics. So if I look that up here, if you see the Master of Mathematics, um, and you can click on it and it says how many uh, ECs I have to take, uh, the practical information. Um, and then you also have the study program. So it says I need, yeah, it kind of explains what the, uh, what, what the study program looks like. And it also gives a list of courses that you can choose. Uh, for example, a mandatory course in, uh, uh, and, and, a, and a philosophy course. Then you have track courses, which if you click on these links, eventually you will see a whole list of courses that you can choose from. This works for any uh, study program, but this is just specifically masters of uh, master of mathematics, of course. Um, and yeah, that's basically the most important part that you need to know from Mercedes. Okay, so now we're back at the page for new students, and now we're going to be looking at Brightspace, which is like a digital learning environment. Uh, Brightspace is mentioned here, digital environments and IT, IT systems. Um, so if I click on it, it should be loading a page. And then it looks like this. Uh, you might have to log in again uh, before you do this, but I was happened to be already logged in. And what you see here is a page of courses that you are enrolled for. They will appear here uh, automatically when you enroll for them in Osiris. So if I take uh, an example course right now, Imperative Programming, um, you get to a front page which has announcements given by uh, the teacher, for example, but maybe also given by teach teaching assistants uh, and give some general information about the course. Um, the most important part of uh, a Brightspace page is the content page, which is where usually um, like PowerPoints or papers or whatever you need to read or study is given on here. And usually homework assignments or things like that will also be mentioned here. Uh, this is for a teacher to completely 
uh, fill in on its own. You can decide whatever he puts on up on here. Um, but this is the most important part of Brightspace. Uh, other parts that are important to know is the assignment page, which is usually where you have to hand in your assignments. And you can also see your grades usually. But there's also a grades page. Uh, so if you go to grades, you can just see what grades you, you've gotten for your assignments. Um, and that's basically the most important part of Brightspace. All right, so we're back at the page now and we will be looking at the personal schedule next. So if I scroll down then on the right, we have viewing your timetable. If I click on that, I'll be shown this page here. Uh, you may still need to log in, but I'm already logged in here. Uh, it's the middle of summer now, so none of the courses are showing up. But on the right, you see a list of courses that I have. Usually when you enroll for a course, it might be added to your schedule automatically. If that doesn't happen, you click on add timetable and you can add a course specifically or a program of study for one entire year. Staff member and student group are not very important right now. So if I wanted to add a course, I can click on it. I can look up a course here and you can look it up by course uh, code or you can look it up by the name, uh, whichever you find more convenient. I click on the study and then add timetable. Um, you select all groups, click OK, and then it's added. And then if I go a few weeks into the future, then I will see that the course has been added to the schedule. As you can see, the course has a few different colors. So the light blue ones are um, are lectures and then the green ones are tutorials. Other courses use different colors as well. Uh, so if I add another course, um, which has a, a practical uh, assignment, uh, I looked that up. Uh, so this course has a practical assignment that will have a different color again. As you can see, it's yellow or orange. Um, and what these blocks show you is it gives you the course code, the course name, when the course takes place. So this is uh, KW1, which means quarter one. Uh, this is It gives a location, it gives the teacher, uh, all those kinds of information. And then it also has a link to the study guide, which is not currently working yet, but it will be linking you to the Osiris course catalog in the future, but that doesn't work as of right now. So once we've done that, um, we can move on to the student mail. All right, so now I'll be showing you uh, the personal email. So to do this, you go to outlook.office.com uh, and you'll get to this page here. And what you do is you fill in your email address, which should be your first name dot last name at root.nl. Uh, it takes you to a specific page for the Hotbar University. Uh, if you have the app installed for the mail, you'll get a notification for two-step verification, and then you'll get you'll be logged in here. Um, a couple more things that I'd like to show is there is a page uh, for app for students. One is for Osiris. Uh, one is for Coalio, which has to do with printing uh, at the university. Brightspace has its own app as well, and there's an app for the Sports Center. Um, these are all very convenient to have. And then one last page is the IT page. The IT page is here if you need any help with anything that we haven't mentioned in this video. Uh, you can find it on this page, or if you need help, you can go to Sane ZZ, which is in the Huygens building, and uh, which can be found in 0.051. Um, and that's really all with that we wanted to explain in this video. So I hope this helped and good luck with your studies here at Rabot University.